Yunus Musa will play for the United States over England. What a fantastic coup for Greg Berhalter and his staff, but even more so for the players in that locker room. Listen, this is an extremely difficult time coming out of a pandemic, trying to build an identity, trying to build some camaraderie within a group, and yet here they have. Right When you see the young group of players in Tyler Adams and Weston McKinney and Giovanni Reyna and Christian Pulisic all coming together in Eunice Musa having a little taste of that, feeling like he belonged, but even more so feeling like he can add something. When you look at the United States national team, you're looking at a group of players that we're going to be talking about for the next 7 to 10 years, and Eunice is going to be a big part of it. His education as a player was with Arsenal. We've seen what he's done in La Liga since a young player with Valencia. But now the prospects of him playing in the midfield through the middle and even at times at wide, whatever it may be, where Greg Berhalter and whoever the manager is down the road looks at and sees what he can do. This is a pedigree of a player, one that England and Gareth Southgate desperately, desperately wanted. will be wearing the red, white, and blue. Bravo to Greg Berhalter and his staff. It was Valencia's 18-year-old winger, Yunus Musa, has made his decision, um, yeah. issued it jointly with U.S. Soccer Federation. Uh, he w says he will play for the U.S. He's already turned out for the U.S. in, in the friendlies in, uh, in November. Yeah. Uh, but previously, he played for England. He's actually eligible for four countries. I mean, it's a pretty remarkable it's story. It's incredible, he's, yeah. He's of Ghanaian descent. He was born in New York City. Yeah. He grew up in Italy, which is what made him such a great footballer, of course. Of course. Yeah. Um, he then moved to England, uh, where I think he played for, was it Chelsea he played for? Or Arsenal. Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal yeah. yeah. So it's usually going to be one or the other. Yeah. Turned out for England's youth teams. Yeah. Now he plays in Spain. Yeah. Um, but he chose the U.S. How, how big yeah. a deal is this? I think it's a big deal. He's, he's, he's looking certainly very talented in a Valencia team and in Valencia context. That is quite difficult, but he's... He's done well, and Craig Behalter, your friend, has already called him up when when he joined in earlier. To it was only a friendly, so he can still change his mind if he wanted. But I think to make a decision that early and to be able to focus on one country and and play for that team and join what is a very talented young squad already. When you think about the Joe Rainers and and Weston McKinney and all the others, Christian Pulisic, this is something very special. I think that's happening with the U.S. men national team right now. So I can see why he decided to to choose the U.S. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.